And everything from the great redwood trees to the whales and to the eagles and to the earthworms and humans and plants is made up of DNA. In fact, you could say that DNA is really the only life force in the planet, and it has a code of four letters. Now, the ancient shamans also discovered that the universe worked with a code of four, and they did not have the language of DNA, they did not have the language of, the, of biology, they had the language of myth, the language of the sacred. And they said that the four forces that make up the entire universe could be described as serpent, as jaguar or tiger, as hummingbird, and eagle. These were the four fundamental forces of creation. And if you could interact with them, if you could call them, if you could call on the spirit of the serpent, and in the Eastern traditions, we call it the Kundalini. If you could work with the spirit of the serpent, you could achieve your own healing very rapidly. So if you learned the language of these four great power animals, of serpent, of jaguar, the black jaguar that knows the hidden ways through the rainforest, that is absolutely fearless, the jaguar that knows the ways beyond death, if you learn the language of jaguar, you would understand that there's death in life and that there's life in death. You would be able to make that journey beyond this physical life into eternity, into infinity. And as a result, you would lose your fear of death. You would understand that death is simply another doorway. Understanding it in every cell in your body after you have made that journey yourself to the realms beyond the beyond and returned back home with the wisdom that one acquires after tasting infinity, at that time, you're said to have mastered the medicine of Jaguar. Hummingbird. Hummingbird is this extraordinary creature found in the Americas. It's not found in Europe. But the hummingbird knows how to drink only from the nectar of life. The hummingbird drinks only from the nectar. And it doesn't drink from anger, it doesn't drink from greed. It drinks only from the very purest essence of life. And the hummingbird is a great traveler. It's a great journeyer. The hummingbirds migrate from Brazil to Canada every year. And they're not even supposed to be able to fly. They go on this amazing, extraordinary journey. And they don't sit around saying, well, you know, we don't have enough money. We don't have enough time. There are no flowers to suck on until we get to Cuba. They go. They listen to the call from spirit. And they embark on the seemingly impossible journey. And they do this every year. And for the shaman, the hummingbird becomes a metaphor for the kind of journey that we have to embark on when we hear the calling from spirit. We hear spirit calling and we must say yes. So hummingbird is the willingness to respond to the call and to feed only from the purest nectar that is available to you. And hummingbird sits in the north, the serpent sits in the south, the jaguar in the west, hummingbird in the north direction, and in the east, we find the eagle or the condor. And the eagle represents the ability to rise above every obstacle that we meet, that we begin to observe the obstacles that present themselves to us and recognize them as opportunities to fly even higher. But the way of the eagle is the way of the visionary. It's the way of the medicine woman, of the medicine man, that looks at the possibilities before looking at the probability. 
that takes on the impossible, that puts on, puts the cart way, way before the horse, that looks at what we can do before looking at all the reasons why this should not be able to work. A fantastic example of this is when John F. Kennedy said to the American people, we will have a man in the moon in 10 years, even though every scientist, all of his advisors said, we don't have the technology, we don't have the rocket systems, we don't have the money to do it, and it happened. So the medicine of ego has to do with following our dreams, with dreaming the world into being, no matter how impossible it seems. And this becomes a very deep medicine for the shaman because when we do not dream our world into being, then we have to settle for the dream that was dreamt for us by our genetics, by our family history, by the way that our parents became sick and got ill and died. And our dream then becomes informed by the nightmare of society that we're living in. The way of the ego medicine is the way of the high dream, of dreaming your highest possibilities for yourself and for your loved ones. Hat dir dieses Video gefallen? Gib uns ein Zeichen und lasse einen Daumen nach oben da. Bist du interessiert an weiteren solchen kostenlosen Videos? Dann abonniere unbedingt unseren Kanal und drücke die Benachrichtigungsglocke, denn nur so stellst du sicher, dass du kein weiteres Video verpasst. Danke dir und bis zum nächsten Video.